God, holy crap. That is a freaking fish, dude. What is up, y'all? Good freaking morning from the state of Texas. I've only been in this state once, like years ago, but I remember when I first got here, I was like, what the heck? Where's the cowboys and the rolling, the tumbleweed things? Today's gonna be a really cool video, though. We are out here bright and early. They were gonna be doing some fishing that, th like, these things do not even look real. I really hope we can get on one, man. I mean, I'm sure we will. We're meeting up with the expert on these fish. I mean, you guys are gonna see, but this is something, like, I've been wanting to do for years. If you thought Jurassic Park was just a movie, man, think again, because dinosaurs... They exist. And they're in these Texas bodies of water. They're swimming down around there with their cowboy hats. They got the spiky things on their shoes. So we've made it over here to this sandy island and today we are going to be fishing with Henry from catching dinosaurs. So what are we gonna be doing? Here? Okay, so today we're out here on the Trinity River. We've cut up some big common carp chunks and we put them out for alligator gar. We're gonna try to set on the run and we're gonna try to get our hooks back. We're using a tiny little hook that's like about the size of a penny and we have a lot of success on it. And so we're gonna see if we can get some big fish today. Definitely make sure, man, I'll put all his links down in the description below. He's got a YouTube, he's got an Instagram, all that stuff. He catches some really freaking crazy fish out here. We're talking about dinosaurs. Not only do they look like dinosaurs, but these fish were literally living like with the dinosaurs. I think he said like 147 million years ago like these fish have not really changed oh my gosh stuff jumping out there so yeah this is going to be very interesting this is just texas man it's crazy freaking fish and jeez dude so those are gar out there splashing like that small ones, small ones. <laughs> freaking big splash what's your biggest gar you ever caught out here so on my boat we've caught three over eight foot and countless over seven foot eight foot yeah these are common carp <laughs> i caught these yesterday they're super fresh you can see they're still bleeding so right now I took off the top fins and scales. These can get in the way on hook set. And also some of them are spiky, which can hurt the fish as well. So This is my hook. It's a one knot Gamagatsu live bait hook. So if you did this, whenever you set, there's very little chance for that actually working. It's too in the bait for it to do anything. So I use a mortician's needle to run a little thin line through my bait. And I grab it on both sides, spin my hook. I go through, spin it back the other way. Go underneath one more time, and there we go. That's how I'm fishing. Tiny little hook. You can catch a sunfish with that hook, and we're gonna throw that off into the river and probably set on the run. Right about there. That's probably about 10 foot of water, so. Technique. Whenever we put this down, we flip this back switch. Whenever our guard grabs it, it can just run freely. Jeez. Look at that technique. So what, then you just kind of see it running? Yeah, so. This slip float doesn't suspend the bait. Our bait's on the bottom right now. Okay. But whenever you get a run, that floats about 15 feet behind your fish. So whenever you see that float running away down the river, that's your fish. Whew, all right. So now we are waiting. We got the nice chairs on deck. Look at this, man. Nice Texan bucky chairs. One right over there, one right there. He's got that one over there, recasting it. It's just like a nice vibe out here, man, on the beach. Let me show you real quick though. Look at this freaking thing right here, man. This is a literal decaying dinosaur. I guess somebody looks like they filleted the crap out of this, but look at those teeth. Look at that thing, dude. He was saying this is like not even like a big one. That's yep, getting bit. Oh, I see it moving, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. We were just looking at this dead one right here. As she runs, you can kind of feed out line. See how it's kind of getting stuck, so yeah, I kind of still. Uh, we can either let her run, stop, eat, come back up, set her, we'll definitely catch her, or we can wait for about a minute and set right here as hard as we can. Yeah, it's definitely t tapping. Yeah, the taps are generally a smaller fish. Now, when really you say small, so big, it's nothing for them to just, you know, just kind of run with it. I'd go ahead and do it. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. Oof. That's freaking. You can back off your back a good, like, full turn if you want. Once you get them hooked up, you can. Got you. Oh my gosh. Oof. 
I mean, even for not a giant, like he's saying, that's freaking heavy, dude. God, that dead one reeks. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Yeah, so what's like the proper lay to land these two? Because I've seen you do that before. You get like the. Oh, jeez. Small. That's, that's a. And we got our mouth hooked. So I like to leave them kind of like this. Seems to be the best way to get them calm. Just kind of leave their face out, their body in. She's also got water through her gills so she can breathe in. She can breathe there. Gotcha. We got her perfectly in the side of the mouth. This is about as small as we catch them, really, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> so this is an alligator gar. She's probably about three foot or a tiny bit under. She has some really interesting features we can go over real quick. She kind of wants to get out of here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that fish got out of here. We let it go pretty quick. That was freaking, I mean, that, that like a giant, giant, apparently. That was a big freaking fish, dude. That was my first ever alligator gar ever. I've seen them when I was down in Florida. Apparently, I mean, they don't grow as big there as they do here. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. Imagine, just like seven, six. I mean, just imagine one as tall as me. Freaking straight up river monster, dude. Holy crap. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right. If you guys uh, have not already, been, please make sure to go down there. Hit that thumbs up button for some good luck. We're gonna try to get a big one. I mean, that already, that, that's a freaking, it's a river monster, dude. Just in the meantime, I'm throwing this little dude over here while we're baiting and waiting. I mean, he said there's a bunch of different species in here, but wow. You might want to come to the other side of the boat and let her come out just so you don't have to worry about it. I, I'm, I'm nervous, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I'm filming here. All right. So you said like four good cranks and then just smack it. Yeah. All right. Oh. Here is her mouth. She either had this flying like right here or the entire bait was outside of her mouth when you ever used it. All right, so it's been a little bit since those first two runs. That second one could have been a freaking monster. So we just moved down the uh, riverbank a little bit more. I feel it, man. Got them positive vibes. I, I did, honestly, I think we're gonna catch a giant. I just, I feel it. This is that kind of fishing, you know, where it could just be very still, very calm, soaking in the nice Texas rays, and all of a sudden, bah! I just can't even imagine, dude, like six, seven, eight foot fish. Oh my God, oh my God. Jeez, <laughs> dude, they freaking flashed on it. Oh my gosh. There was another one with him too. All right, chill, you are pointy. Whew, freaking sick. Let's see if we can get the other one. These things are so aggressive, man. Not a bad way to wait for a bite. All right, so it is a little bit later in the day. It was a little brisk this morning. It's getting nice and toasty out. But uh, what, what are you thinking, man? What, what's the move? So we're gonna run down to some spots that are a little bit more remote than where we just were. There's some dead gar on this bank, so it means it's been getting pressured. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a run, and when we get back, hopefully we're gonna be in a hole with some big old fish in it. Sounds good. Can we just take a second? Look how freaking nice these little beaches are, man. I feel like a pirate out here. So we have one, two, three in the water yet again. He's are gonna check this spot out for a little bit, see if anything grabs onto these giant carp. You feel like we're gonna get a big one? This one, this one, this one. That could be the, we were just talking about the big one. He's taking off. Oh man, oh boy. Yeah, it's off. Or if it was just in her mouth. No, it looks good. Notice how none of these are like super big. This is like the biggest they get. Yeah. If it's a really big fish, you can push her finger all the way into each one of those. Super really? Small fish, yeah. Perfect. Whew. All right, I know that might sound weird, but that's kind of what we wanted right there. We saw a giant 
splash and he just threw a, our biggest one of our biggest baits over at it so he said we didn't want like the stress hormones from a fish to uh i guess contaminate the water i don't know some science stuff basically that fish had this in its freaking mouth and uh i guess it wasn't a big one because it doesn't have big teeth holes and it didn't really get it get it but yeah we're gonna throw this one back in there's a big one around here though dude that was a big splash well, that's a good sign Oh yeah, it's getting pulled, pulled. This could be the one. Now we wait. Dude, it's a lucky peanut butter cracker. Just one. Oh man, it's this is like taken now. <laughs> oh shh. <laughs> All right, we got a fish on. This thing's running. We think this this could be it. Man. All right. Got the barber. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> right once I. <laughs> that was definitely my fault. It's yeah. really like an explosion. Like you have to like smack into it as hard as So you put the rod down and. Yeah. <laughs> like jump like a frog into it almost even. Like try to break the rod. Hey. I'm looking all right. All right. No, we're good. Woo. <laughs> okay, now we're looking a little low. You want to come stand right here? Or like right here? It might be a little easier. All right. I'm trying to get over. I think she's about to run still. This might be a really big one, you think? I mean, they don't pick up. Oh, this is the head. Oh. Oh, wow, it's so pretty against this thing. Yeah, it's like clear. There's home sweet home for now. All right, so she's just chilling. Oh, God, I got the All right. Just came over to this bank and just let her sit. Now it's starting to move. So we're going to chase it back up, you said? But delicately. We're just kind of letting this fish eat it. Cause the last one we had it for a little while, it was just. Let's give her a little bit of time. Whichever she like actually. All right. I think she's actually leaving. Now this calls for some Crocs, dude. Right now it's kind of a. Yeah, all the way over there. Oh, there's a little nice. Why is she so shallow? This is literally like. Stalking it down. Yeah, this is intense. All right. If she snags, we can always cut it and then refine the plug and retie. She's right now. Yeah, it looks like she's turning to the. Um. I'm good. Oh yeah, the float's over there. I think you're good for the hook side. Oh, oh! Oh my god, dude! I saw that thing roll. That, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, I, don't, I can't even. Like a dinosaur. That looked like something. All right. <laughs> Falls into water. Fish eats me. If you see float, let me know. All right. We just kind of want to get back to that 30 yard zone, you know? Yeah. I just hope it doesn't run back at me, then I have to set it real fast. Just keep on going, keep on going. Keep All right, so you said so. down and thrust. Yeah. Hold on. All right, should I go now? Go ahead and reel into it like three or four times and see if you can't reel anymore. Okay, again, again. <laughs> Work, work as hard as you can. Just keep doing it. I'd probably set one more time, reel all the way down. God! Now get us over there. Oh! 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 
you up. Need to do that. Jeez. Just keep reeling. Let me know when you're about to stop. Oh my god. I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Be some good footage that jumped in here. That's a freaking fish, dude. God. Oh my God. Bro, this might be one of the hardest fighting fish I've ever freaking fought. Dude. This might be the hardest fighting fish. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, yeah, yeah, if you want, if you want to film it, oh my god, unless you want to like, oh, mm. holy crap, that is a freaking fish, dude, yeah, yeah, don't even worry about the camera, whatever you got, oh, Whenever she comes back up, I'll go for her. So I need to go through the back of your rod. So let me through. Watch this. Right here. All right. So whenever I'm on your rod, just try to act like I'm not here. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Big door. Holy crap. Okay. So what we're going to do is I want you to lead her with your left rod. So just hold this right here and then get up here. And I want you to put a little bit of pressure up with this like finger pressure and lead her with this one. So if we turn left, lead with this, elevate with this. Make All right. Sense? Yeah. Um, oh my God, freaking Oh my God. All right, buddy, let's go on a little ride. Golly, dude. I mean like, that thing is, that oh my God. I'm like shaking a little bit, dude. Up <laughs> God. Isn't it? So if you want to help me go to the end, I'll get up here. All right. So take that down to the end. I bet it, we're at like six four or so. Seventy eight. This fish is six foot six. Yeah. Thirty three inch curves. Thirty four. Cool. That's good. Mm -hmm. right, you can come right here or right here, wherever you want. Generally with gar, as long as you're behind these pectorals, you're safe from like the face and stuff. First you got the eyeball. This thing is massive. I don't think it does all that much underwater, but still pretty neat. We got one nostril, two nostrils, three nostrils, four. So they have four nostrils helping them to find bait underwater. So feel that? That's the only soft thing on alligator gar. Wow. So this expands out like this far, kind of like a pelican's face whenever she has a bait in there. These are a sense organ that's actually used to taste food. So they can go up and right now she's tasting me and she's seeing what I actually taste like, which is pretty insane. And she likes it. So what I was saying before too, is this comes out kind of like a pelican's mouth. See that right there? So they could take a huge bait in there. 
So they're using their four nostrils and they're using these sense organs to find what they want in the water. These scales right here are made out of grenoid, which is the same thing that your fingernails are made out of. These are interlocking and they're attached to the bone. You can't just get up underneath them and pull them off or anything like a tarpon. These were used as arrowheads back in the day. They were also used as armor for like uh, Native Americans, you know what I mean? Pretty neat. Yeah, that's really cool. She's 6'6", 34 inch girth. This is a really nice fish. If I had to guess, she's probably about 25 years old. That's about the normal growth rate for a fish this big. That's a really, really amazing fish. Yes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and release this fish. Like I said, probably 25, 30 years old. These fish are uh, hunted down and killed really often in Texas and Personally, I think it's really important that we push conservation and protect the species so that we're not trying to save an endangered species in the future. So with that said, we caught her on a tiny little crappie hook and we're gonna go ahead and get her back to her river right now. What I would do is elevate just a little bit right here. She's gonna know. She's going right into the boat. Oh man. Oh, that is freaking, dude, that's like a legit river monster. Let's go. Thank you so much. Oh, I mean, that's literally taller than me. The closest fish I caught to that was that black drum that was, I don't even, I was like 30 something pounds. So that was like a hundred more than, oh my gosh. I mean, it just, like they they fight so freaking hard i, can't, I just can't believe like that, that was literally bigger than me yeah. i mean that was on the head too you said they eat the head i mean i was excited to catch that little white bass the freaking six foot i don't smell any stress hormones it smells kind of like death and guard at the same time really yeah that's interesting so you can literally smell it yeah you can smell it on your clothing and stuff all right so we came over this side of the river again this is like literally, isn't this exactly what the last one was doing? It's like almost the same spot. Oh, right there. All right. You reel down two or three times into it till you can't reel anymore. I didn't think it was, I thought it might have been a smaller one, but they're still kind of pulling. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, look at that freaking dinosaur, dude. Holy crap. I'm gonna see if I can de hook her and grab her. This one, definitely not as big. What would you say this one is? Probably like three foot. Three foot, kind of like the first one, right? Yeah, maybe 20 pounds or so. I mean, just it's crazy to think about, like, like we just caught one twice this size, more than twice this I'm size. And that's about three years old, so she spawned a couple of years ago in the spawns we had. Yeah, I mean, they're just freaking straight up dinosaurs. I don't know how, how else to say it. Man. We're gonna go ahead and get her on back. We got the hook out, which is always good, you know? A little tiny hook. All right. I feel that like sponginess under And then the... you just head first and she'll kind of go. Yep. Oop. Perfect. Nice Strong little. swimmer. Teaching me the ways. Got some nice gargoo on me now. Yeah. All right, so it's a little bit later on in the day. We actually came back to the first spot we were at. We have all three of the baits in the water. Got some nice fresh juicy carp on there. But I'm actually about to throw this little guy in. See if we can get some more of those uh, white bass. Really whatever bites. I was having some follow me on the bigger lure that I had on. But, I mean, you guys, have, if you've been watching the channel, we've got lots of stuff. On oh, these little chatter baits. What the heck is that? Is that one? It's a little bit better, whatever it is. Jeez. Dude, that's a good size one. Oh my God. Oh, dude, something big just jumped over there. Okay, chill, buddy. We're, we're friends here. That's a nice little fish, man. Ow. Literally looks like a little striper. Dang, dude, I wish we had these in Delaware. We have white perch, 
but they are just not this aggressive aggressive i mean it's still aggressive they're actually like running it's like the spring run in delaware right now i do miss it a little bit but dang man a little chatterbait dude i definitely was throwing something a little bit too big but they're still like smacking it and following it I think they like this little thing, dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Let me know, man, when I'm down here in Texas. Should I do like some kind of white bass catch and cook? I mean, he said there's stripers in here too. That'd be pretty freaking crazy to hook into one. There's bass, bunch of stuff. I mean, even Gar could possibly hit this little chatterbait. Oh, someone just jumped out of the water. Really? This might be the spot, dude. Drop a head out here. All right, let me try this. I don't think it's that big. Oh, I mean that's a pretty, that's a pretty good freaking fish. Jeez. Got other Oh, she got another leader in her mouth. Really? Oh man! All right, y'all. It's been a freaking day. This is uh, you think it's about a four footer? Yeah, about four foot. I, I just can't believe that like these things exist. Oh gosh. Just throw her. Got my hand a little bit. see what happens here definitely got cheese grater scissored up by the last one not sure of the damage as of now but that's not gonna stop us from catching this freaking oh that wasn't that big of one all right hopefully my hand doesn't fall off it snapped the thing I think I wish I was filming on the other camera. <laughs> I must be the best gar fisherman of all time right here. Whew, all right, man. It has been a freaking day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go down and hit that thumbs up button. It's like you said, like the beginning of the season, right? Like things are just starting to heat up. The river was a little bit high today. It was super cold and foggy this morning. We had a little bumps and bruises, but it's a good day of fishing, man. My guide uh, from about like April till November pretty much. All right, from April till November, hit this man out if you want to catch some dinosaurs. And uh, all his links will be down in the description below. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I was just really cool. I learned a lot about that species, about this whole river in general. We saw bald eagles. We saw freaking giant gators. A lot of people come out here and they kill these alligator gar. We saw probably like half a dozen today that were dead. Um, people do eat them. People do kill them just to get rid of them. They think they're bad for the environment, but they are a native species. So Personally, I catch and release them. I use a tiny little hook and I try not to hurt them the best I can. I try to push conservation methods that don't hurt these fish in the long run and um, you can see more of kind of the methods I use on my page and whatnot or on YouTube if you were curious. Yeah, man, overall, these are some really special fish. If you have the opportunity to get out here or just like around your area, if you have gar, definitely show them some love. I mean, they will hurt you. I, I definitely don't know really what this looks like. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad, but it definitely hurt like the scraping. Um, we got a few little teeth marks <laughs> today too, but it's just nature, man. You go out there, I mean, if you catch a bluegill, you get little like, bloodiness super fun day thank you guys so much for yeah, taking me out man please make sure right now man, go over to his channel and uh hit that subscribe button check out his videos because he has some really cool stuff and also he has a really cool instagram uh definitely check that out and yeah if you want a guy trip he's your man out here in texas so again man thank you guys so much for watching this video i got a long drive home we gotta go edit some more stuff but as always man thank you guys so much for all the support 
Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know this well.